Hey guys, I uh, wanted to do a quick uh, video of this MiG-37 before I put it up for its maiden flight. A uh, little foam board RC plane. Um, just kind of built it right from scratch. Took the uh, measurements off of a model I found at the local hobby store and um, just kind of went from that. So put it all together, got a bunch of the parts and things on uh, eBay and Banggood. Um, so yeah, it uh, came out pretty nice, I think. Had to put a little paint on it just to make it a little more fun. This is the second version of this plane. Uh, the first one I built real quick is just uh, over here, actually. And uh, this is just kind of a proof of concept type type thing threw it all together took it for a flight didn't fly too good but uh, I think uh, got the center of gravity a little more set up here and uh, made some changes based on the way it was flying so also I think the new one came out a bit nicer and uh, overall should fly I didn't put too much effort into this one but uh, it served its purpose and uh, learned a few things about it as uh, as I flew it around so I think the new one is going to be even better. Um, I might as well show you the inside here. I'll open it up, put a little uh, pin latch in there, just kind of glued in and slide right out. Open her up. You got it to open up sideways like that. So there's plenty of room in here. Got my uh, Wakara receiver, uh, the Fidu FY41 AP Lite uh, flight controller, autopilot, and OSD all built in there. 70 millimeter 10 blade fan. I think it's 10. Let's see in there. They're pretty slick. Um, so, yeah. And then under the front, which opens up like so. Got the, uh, this is the power for the OSD and everything goes to the ESC, which is back there. 100 amper. And up in the top, I got a uh, wireless camera. And that's the uh, antenna and the uh, camera control board thing then right up in the nose put the little CCD camera so the uh, antenna pokes out a little bit and sits in there nice and clean uh, those two are, uh, chopsticks are to hold in the hold the top down for the moment I'm, I'll probably do something to latch it down and uh, it's got GPS on it get the uh, battery here uh, 3300 milliamp uh, 4S and uh, made it so if I can show you slides in there just perfectly nice and snug and uh, it's got this little piece right there that holds it right in place I don't know if we can see it but it holds it in there nice and tight and it all closes up real good so um, see if maybe run her up for you and, uh, and kind of get a feel for how she sounds. And, uh, make sure she's all in there. Looks good to me. Just uh, put little zip tie wrapped uh, foam landing gear on there. Makes it pretty slick. And uh, hopefully it'll work without any suspension. I don't want to break it in half. If it comes down really hard, it might happen. But uh, you never know. So anyway, let me turn this on. Also, uh, speed control here. I mean, uh, speed sensor, not speed control. It gets a little in the way. I have to uh, take it out of the way to open that up. But uh, anyway, let me put something here. Turn her on. Put you down. Alright, we got her all plugged in. You got some beeps and things going on. There she gets all set up there. And there we go. So, I'll put her back together right quick. Yeah, let's see, we got ailerons and uh, V tail back there. And at the moment, they're on minor expos. That's full. Throws, which are pretty full. So, and then uh, put the expo down, check that. So, 
not as much throw as thrown in there. And uh, just rev her up a little bit. Show you how it sounds. Oh, hold on. It's got uh, just under two kilograms of thrust, and she weighs about uh, three, three pounds, uh, three point six pounds. So it's getting a little heavy with that big battery in there. I initially was going to use a twenty-two, but it's uh, pretty, pretty power hungry. So in the back, just uh, pretty simple little thrust tube setup. You can see the the way I built it using three pieces: one for the bottom one for the middle and then one for the top um, and even the fins the tail fins come are part of this piece right here so it just comes up like that and uh, that's how I did that so anyway I um, wanted to make a video of it in its uh, unflown condition before I uh, take it up for the first time just in case anything goes wrong which uh, you never know you never know but yeah there she is nice little view of it here came out pretty cool I think and uh, might do another one if this one flies really well uh, you know third times a charm I guess but uh, that I'm sure would there are a couple of things in here making it that I could definitely do a little better I think um, a few little little points but uh, overall I mean I think I think it's all right kind of digging the paint jobs just um, some regular uh, rust-oleum uh, like plastic and wood paint spray paint and just did some camo on there so the white was just the foam board and then some silver and then some blue so alright well I'll uh, be back with the flight video and uh, hopefully a successful one um, thanks for checking it out and uh, have a good one bye